guys, so I have a rather large book haul slash in my mail box for you. I have 21 books to show you. 14 of these I was sent for review, the rest I've bought myself. So I'm going to try and speed this up as much as possible. So here we go. The first few books I have are from Penguin. And they sent me Fever by D. Shulman. And this came out last year. But um, they also sent me Delirium, which is the sequel that's just come out. And I have already um, read Fever by the time that this goes up, and I did enjoy it. A few issues, but you'll probably see that in a wrap-up video. But it's about a Roman gladiator and a modern schoolgirl somehow being connected by a mysterious um, virus. Um, really interesting. I had a lot of unanswered questions, I didn't feel much was explained. Um, but I'm hoping that the sequel, you know, tackles that and gets more into the, um, the how and the why, really, rather than just what's happening. But yep. Yeah. Then they also sent me uh, Nowhere by John Robinson. And this is an arc. This comes out on the 4th of July. And this is being described um, as, I think, the Bourne Identity meets Time Raiders. Um, and it's a, like a young adult conspiracy. So that looks like it could be really interesting. Then what I'm really, really, really excited about is Invisibility by Andrea Kramer and David Levithan. I've been seeing this one pop up a lot. Um, I've not read Andrea Kramer's um, Nightshade series, but I know it's very popular. And I've only read um, The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan and Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Um, had issues with both but this sounds really really good I love the cover so um, I've, I've heard mixed things some people um, really love it others say you'll like one point of view more etc but it's about a guy that's cursed with invisibility and suddenly this girl can see him so it sounds really really good and then some books showed up that were a bit of a surprise I didn't know that I was uh, being sent them but um, they sound really really good and the first one is Dusk by Eve Edwards. This, when this arrived, I thought this is such a me book. I didn't know how I didn't know about it really. Um, and it's set in World War One, um, and it's about a young girl and a young soldier that fall in love, but she has a secret. And um, it sounds so good. I love the cover. I think that I'm really, really going to love this one. It's the first in a series, um, but I just, I just know I'm going to love this. And it comes out on the sixth of June. By so, by the time this goes up, it's, it's already out. Um, so yeah, can't wait to get to this one. I love me some historicals, and especially if it's going to be a young adult historical, I think it's going to be fantastic. Then they also very kindly sent me The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. Now I know Sarah Dessen is an extremely popular young adult contemporary writer, but I have never read a Sarah Dessen book. Um, my friend gave me one. Um, this lullaby is what she gave me, but I've still not read it. Um, but I know she's very popular, so yeah. We'll, we'll see how I get on with that. That's 4th of June, so again, that will already be out. Um, so yeah, quite intrigued by her, but there's always something else or another author, you know, that I want to read more. She's just not been a priority author to get round to, really. Um, if that makes sense to you guys, I'm sure it does. Um, the next one I have is from Random House. And I've been seeing this one pop up a lot recently as well. And that's Acid by Emma Pass loving this cover the cover very much reminds me of the uk cover of throne of glass it has like you know this strong kick-ass girl on the front and when did this one actually come out i really should get more organized for these things doesn't say doesn't say helpful but it's out anyway let's just go with it's out um and it's about a girl who's accused of killing her parents um, when she was 15 and it's her sort of, um, they locked her away and it's her trying to get her life back. Um, so it sounds really, really good. I haven't heard much about it in the way of reviews. I mean, I've been seeing it 
people haul it and stuff um but i've not actually checked out any reviews and i've actually got a friend that picked this up when we were out one day um so i might see if she's already read it yet yet yeah whatever next one i have is from orion and it's shadow and bone by lee Bardugo. um they re-released this over here um when it came out in america it was shadow and bone um but when it came out here last year it was called the gathering dark um but they're re-releasing it with the us cover and title which was so much better i don't know why we had the horrible cover to start with but yeah love this so uh this is a ya fantasy based on i think it's russian folklore or something heard great things about it can't wait to check it out i'm hoping to get to this one really really soon um okay then i have some books from little brown i have a young adult contemporary called rules of summer by joanna philbin it's a really pretty cover and this is about two girls um that are friends um and they i think they fall out over a guy or um there's there's some big secret um like one girl just wants a really peaceful summer the other one you know wants an exciting sort of summer romance sort of thing and i think they conflict about what they want um so yeah looking forward to checking that one out be a good summary read i think so i might leave that one for just a little while until it's a little bit more sunny because the weather's terrible here right now well when i'm saying this it's terrible by the time this goes up we'll probably be in a bloody heat wave now my luck but yeah it's really not great weather here right now um not that it ever really is um anyway uh, then from little brown some books showed up that i that they just showed up i didn't know i was receiving them and the first one is uh delusion in death by jd robb this is Nora roberts um writing is jd robb she writes her sort of futuristic crime um under this name and i have a couple of these books i think i have like the first three or something but i haven't read any of the others um so I, I i assume you should really start it from the beginning um but yeah i have i have this and this came out on the 2nd of may so it's been out a while um but yeah i really should read more like get into her um crime stuff but i just haven't i've got so many other things to read that it's not been a priority then i have leopard's prey by christine feehan um this is an adult paranormal author um i have seen her books around and i've seen them on goodreads and stuff but i've never picked them up and i think this is um, a bit like you know um J. Ward and stuff like that they're part of a series but they focus on individual sort of characters each book um so i think this is book three or something five i was close um so yeah i haven't checked out any of the others but seems like it could be quite interesting i'll probably look into whether i can read it by itself um before i obviously start it and then one that showed up that i love the cover to um and that's the juliet society by sasha gray now the cover isn't showing up tr um true on the cam but it's like tiffany blue it is really really stunning and i started to like look up what it was about and sasha gray was actually a porn star um and she's written not like a biography but it's um it's fiction but it's uh a little on the uh raunchy side shall we say um but i haven't heard anything about this either i've not seen anyone um, read it it came out on the 9th of may so i'm quite intrigued by it but at the same time i don't think it's a me book but i'm just i'm, I'm curious i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm quite curious to see what um, it's about what the what the writing's like um and i i absolutely love this cover it's it's stunning it's such an unassuming cover for for what it's gonna be about um so there's that uh, on to the next stack then i have some books from harper collins i have an arc of the school for good and evil by saman chani i'm i'm i've 
butchered that i know i have and there it is this one comes out on the 6th of june so again this one will be out by the time that this goes up but uh this is a middle grade novel and it's basically about a school um that there's schools for um children that are going to be like the good characters in like fairy tales like the princesses and the princes and stuff and then there's a school for the evil characters so you know the wicked witches type thing and there's these two girls one of them wants to go to the good school one of them wants to go to the bad school and they end up going to the opposite school that they thought they were going to be going to um so it sounds like it's going to be really cute anything fairy tale related i i love um and if i really do love this i'll probably end up buying a finished copy um I love the US hardcover edition for this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the cover that we get or if it's obviously going to be um, different to this, but I, I love the US hardcover, so I might have to treat myself to that. Um, then they also sent me something else, but I bought the selection by Kira Cass, and I bought this because they, um, HarperCollins, sent me the Elite, and obviously I hadn't read this, so I thought I would... Um, get this i've heard obviously really really great things about it it's been picked up for a show um the cover even though it's girls on dresses which you know i can find irritating it's just it's too beautiful not to love it um and then obviously the elite is just as beautiful um and it's described as is it the bachelor meets the hunger games um so i'm quite intrigued by this that it's like a competition um, all these girls trying to win a prince and the one girl that doesn't um, want to win he likes so it sounds like it could be really really good um, so yeah I now have both of those so on to the other books that I bought and I say that but my mum bought me this one she picked it up um, from the supermarket for me and that's Doll Bones by Holly Black this is another middle grade and it sounds like it could be really really creepy um, you just look at the cover there um i haven't read a holly black book before i have um what one is it i can't even see it up there like ties um which i think is part of her fairy tale retelling um series i have the first no i have the first and the third book in that um but i haven't read it yet and i haven't read her curse worker series but i've heard good things about holly black i haven't even read the spiderwick chronicles which i know is like a sin um but I saw uh, saw this and I thought it looked really, really good. It's about a doll that's made out of the bones of a dead girl. Like, so yeah, already it's quite eerie. Um, so, yeah. Don't know when I'll get to it, but it sounds really, really good. Um, another one that I picked up from the supermarket is um, Charlotte Street by Danny Wallace. And what drew me to this one was... Um, it says, a heartwarming everyday tale of boy stalks girl. And it's about this guy that um, bumps into this girl and he instantly falls in love with her. And then she, um, like, it's like a busy street and then she has to go off and catch a train or something. And, you know, um, she leaves her camera. So basically he tries to track her down. Um, it sounds a little bit like um, Serendipity, the movie, if you've seen that. I love that movie. Um, so, yeah, love this. It's, it's just a super bright cover and i think it'll be a really light fun read um so have that then i have a couple of pre-orders i pre-ordered goddess by josephine angelini the third and final book in her star-crossed trilogy i think it's what it's called um i read star Cross when it came out what was that in like 2011 and I really, really liked it. It took a while to get into, but I still really, really enjoyed it. And then I pre-ordered book two, uh, but I haven't read it. So I pre-ordered book three as well. So now I've completed the trilogy. I feel like maybe I will um, get to it quicker or, you know, just... I feel like I like to have series complete before I read them, which I can't always do. But I, sometimes I like to, especially if it's not something I've been sent for review. I feel like I can take my time with it. Um... But yeah, I have that. Much prefer the US covers of these. Not a fan of these at all. The colours are nice and bright and stuff, but the the pic the faces in that they just don't look real. They're nah, I don't like them. Um, the next one that I have is Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. This is the sequel to Lies Beneath. 
Um, I read Lies Beneath last year and I did enjoy it. I loved that it was from the point of view of a guy and he was a merman. Um, it was really quite dark and sinister. It was really different. I liked it. Um, but the sequel is going to be in the human girl's point of view. It's not set in at the same point or anything. It's not like a companion. It is a sequel. Um, I'm quite interested to see how things develop. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then the last two books that I have, I'm doing quite well for time, I'm quite proud here. Um, I've seen around a lot, well the first one I've seen around a lot, and that is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I love the US hardback um, of this, but I got the UK um, paperback because not in, um, I really like the sound of the book and I feel like I am going to love it. But I wanted to get Attachments by Rainbow Rowell as well, because when I went to buy this I was going to buy the US hardback um, but then I saw that she had another book and I didn't like the hardcover for this and if I bought them both in hardcover it would have ended up costing me about £24 for both and I didn't like the hardback cover of the other one um, but to get both of these was £12 so I thought I have to do it so yeah I got them and this and this sounded hilarious um, it's about, it's set in 1999, um, a company has basically just got email and two best friends sort of email them, email themselves back and forth um, and some IT guy has to monitor all the emails but he falls in love with one of them through reading their emails um, and then he's like well how can I tell her that I like her when I've been reading her emails so it just sounds really cute and funny. Um, so yeah, I got both Rainbow Rowell's books because Eleanor and Parks, uh, everyone's been raving about it. Um, and, but then when I read about attachments, I thought this this just sounds fantastic. I'll I'll get both. So I did. <laughs> um, so that's everything for now. I actually have a box that's got more books in, but I've um, I just can't show them all. So they will have to wait. But these are the ones I wanted to share with you. I'm super excited for all of these. Um, if you've read any of them, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Happy reading.